So she walked quite a ways. Diane Cheatham says she was in her home in Northeast Dallas when she heard a woman crying for help. So I just started calling 911 and headed down. And when I got here, the young woman was kneeling and blood just all over her. The victim had been stabbed while walking her dog on May 12th. I told him that she'd been stabbed and that this was very serious. There's blood everywhere. That's a priority one call. Dallas police have a target time to answer that type of call in eight minutes. But in this case, it took nearly 22 minutes. According to Dallas police records, Diane's call was picked up by a 911 operator at 6.58 p.m but it was not dispatched to officers until 7:11, and officers didn't arrive on scene until 7:20, nearly 22 minutes after she called. It felt like ages. According to records, Dallas firefighters had to wait nearby because their policy prohibits them from going into a crime scene until DPD arrives. The suspect in this case wasn't caught that night and DPD is looking into the possibility that he was involved in another stabbing a few days later in the same area. Dallas Police Associations have been complaining for months that there aren't enough 911 call operators and dispatchers to answer the volume of calls. We asked DPD for numbers. They say they are understaffed and trying to hire more people. So it's a very stressful job. Uh, the, the, per, the, the personnel that work in that area, uh, they're tired. Sheldon Smith is the president of the National Black Police Officers Association. He says pay is always an issue. A 911 operator in Dallas makes between $33,000 to $45,000 a year. You can go to McDonald's and make more money. You know, it's a very stressful job. Dallas police say they're offering a $3,000 bonus for new hires and an 8% raise once training is completed. They hope that will be an incentive for people to apply. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.